This video is going to be a lot about the tractor I have, the attachments I have, and there'll be several follow-on videos that show me doing modifications to the tractor and modifications and repairs to the implements. So what I have here is a L3200 Kubota. This is a HST transmission. Um, I have the LA524 front loader with quick attach, uh, like a skid steer attachment on the front. I have added the uh, third function control through a solenoid operated hydraulic valve so that there are uh, hydraulics plumbed into the front of the tractor up here, which operate one of my attachments I have. Back, which you'll see later on in the videos, uh, is a Land Pride uh, quick hitch uh, off the three point. And I've got several modifications I'm going to make to my implements to uh, adapt to this. Uh, but that's a quick overview of the tractor. I've done some other modifications to it that I'll, I'll get into later. My tractor's been on loan to uh, my brother for about a year, and I haven't had an opportunity to do much of the maintenance that's normally supposed to be done. So we'll go over all that in the next few videos. But for right now, uh, we're going to go over the implements. So right here, this is a Land Pride uh, heavy duty brush hog or mower. Uh, this is the quick hitch setup. So this uh, quick hitch hooks onto the onto here and into here and hooks onto the PTO on the back of the tractor. I've had this for about about a year now. I've only really used it twice though it's because uh, I haven't had an opportunity because my tractor's been gone. Uh, Pretty handy though. I, I like using that and it works really well with the quick hitch because it's designed to. The rest of my implements are not designed to work with my quick hitch, but we're going to modify them to work. So there'll be some videos about that. Here is my country line box scraper. Uh, I've already added the quick hitch pins to the uh, lower lift arm ears. I need to modify the upper part here, which will be the next video, um, to fit onto the quick hitch. This implement I've used more than any other implement I, I own. Uh, this has been used and abused and it, it is the workhorse of my tractor uh, by far. I've uh, done some significant repairs to this thing already just because the uh, amount of use it's on it and I have some more repairs to do and I'll go over some of the repairs I've already done. Uh, definitely a workhorse, definitely an attachment that I recommend to anybody that owns a tractor uh, of the size I have or slightly smaller or slightly bigger. Uh, this is a must have if you plan on moving dirt. This is a driveway plane or a land plane. Um, this one is about halfway modified to the quick hitch setup. However, I got a really good deal on this, which is why I bought it. And I have a really long dirt driveway, and, and there'll be some clips in the video of me using this. It works phenomenal for creating an existing driveway. I haven't used it for anything but that. Um, the other thing is it's actually two sizes too big for my tractor, so I'm gonna modify it to work better with my tractor, because my tractor is really couple sizes too small to really handle the weight of this effectively uh, but there'll be videos about that too right about how I modify the three-point hitch and actually trim off some of the weight and bulk of this implement uh, but it is great for modifying the, for grading out the driveways next one over is a country line uh, land rake I'll call it it's the basic model, so the land rake uh, has the five different adjustments and it does spin around backwards. I've only used it once, I've owned it for quite a while. I, I usually go to my box blade uh, before I go to this. And I'm going to modify this thing so that it works with the quick hitch. And I suspect that because of how easy that makes things to hook up and take off, I'll probably use it more. Um, I, would, I imagine that if you had a finished yard, you might use this a little more. I, I don't know. I holding my opinion on this implement until a later date and time when I have more opportunity to use it. Uh, the next thing over is the front bucket. Obviously you're all familiar with those, right? This is a standard front bucket, not the heavy duty front bucket. I wish I would have gotten the heavy duty front bucket. Uh, this is the quick hitch, or excuse me, the uh, squid skid steer style quick attach for the front of the tractor. I did add a ball to it and I attempted to move some of my trailers around and actually bent the top of the bucket. I haven't really used that ball to move trailers with since then. I don't recommend doing that unless you weld in some side of, some sort of hitch, which I plan on doing later on. Uh, the next implement are the pallet forks. And I got these as sort of an add-on to my grapple bucket. Now, I had never planned on buying a set of these. And 
as soon as I got them, I put them on my tractor and I have used them more than I could have imagined I would have. This is another implement that I feel if you own that style of tractor with the quick attach front loader, you can't go wrong with pallet forks. I find that I use these for things you wouldn't even imagine. And, and if you have a tractor and you don't have one of these and you get a set, you'll, you'll understand what I'm talking about. You just, you pick stuff up and you move things around with these more than you could ever imagine possible. It's handy to have a couple of pallets lying around to put stuff on to move it, but even without the pallets, these pallet forks come in incredibly handy for, for lifting stuff up in the air, riding lawnmower, for example, if you needed to get it up in the ground to sharpen the blades underneath, you could do it with this. I've done it. Super, super handy. Uh, definitely recommend this. I use this a lot to move my other implements around too. That's another thing. So I don't have to hook on to all my implements. I just put these on and I can move my grapple bucket or I can move the box blade or I can move the, the brush hog without having to hook onto it every single time. So the next attachment is the Titan uh, heavy duty grapple bucket. Um, I always wanted one of these and I bought this off of Amazon. Uh, got a good deal on it, and it came with the Titan pallet forks as an add-on. I did have to plumb in that extra hydraulics into my tractor, which is a separate cost from this. And I also had to modify the hoses that this came with, because this grapple bucket is actually designed for a skid steerer, which is not what my tractor is, obviously. Um, this has been incredibly handy. I do a lot of property work and property clearing. I help my brother out and I've used it around my house too. Uh, being able to grab things, grab a hold of stumps and rocks and roots and and you can use the tines to rake things out has been just incredibly handy. Being able to pick up logs and go move them around without having to chain onto them or drag them around the, all over the place. The only downside to this is if you buy, in my opinion, if you go ahead and buy something like this, make sure it's sized correctly for your tractor. This is significantly heavier that my tractor is really designed to work with. So it really reduces the amount of lifting capacity I have with it because it weighs so much in itself. Um, I've been actually cutting parts of it off. You can see back here, I've actually shaved off parts of this metal back here to reduce the weight. And I need to do significantly more metal removal on this because my tractor just isn't powerful enough to justify needing that much metal to hold it together. This is really made for a, a really large skid steerer not a 32 horsepower Kubota. Um, however, find it incredibly handy, works extremely well. I, I definitely recommend a set of grapple for your tractor. However, get the ones that are weight rated for your tractor. Don't buy this oversized one that I got a really good deal on, but definitely go with the ones that are rated for your tractor. A backhoe. This is a BH-77 backhoe. I bought it with my tractor. It was the first attachment, uh, minus the bucket, that I bought. Um, it's coming incredibly handy. I mean, I've done lots of property development. You can check out some of my other videos and, and see what I've done with those and with this. Um, I have two buckets for this. I have a 18-inch... I'll call it a clean-out bucket because I welded some plate across the teeth to make it a little more capacity. And I also have a 12-inch trenching bucket. Uh, this backhoe really doesn't have the power that you need to use that 18-inch bucket to dig a trench with. It's not going to go break roots with that 18-inch bucket on there. That 12-inch bucket does pretty well. And I've done all the trenching for my power and water and irrigation and drainage and curtain drains for my garage and for my house. I've also, this my tractor's been on my roads for a year, he did the same thing, all his power, water, t cable TV lines, septic system, trenching for all of that was done with this backhoe. Um, works really well. Uh, it's a little slow in comparison to say a mini excavator, but in my opinion, with all these implements and the tractor, I get so much more capability than a mini excavator uh, for my purposes. Don't get me wrong, mini excavators are, are are definitely the right tool in certain applications, just not for my purposes. So, BH-77 backhoe, and that 77 stands, well, if you kind of figure out the math, this thing will dig down in the ground 7 feet 7 inches, BH-77. Uh, there's a couple of flaws with this backhoe from the manufacturer, um, and I don't say that lightly about Kubota, because to be honest with you, I personally feel they're one of the better tractors on the market as far as 
uh, problems go and rating capacities and other things. However, there is a flaw with this that I'm going to make another separate video about. Uh, it basically, I end up damaging one of the main cylinders and that's expensive to get fixed. So I'll make a separate video about it because I'm going to do a modification to the locking system to stop it from damaging itself in the future because I don't really feel like paying $500 to repair the cylinder every so often because eventually the cylinder is going to get to a point where I have to replace it and it's an $800 cylinder. So make another video about that. And uh, yeah, so those are the attachments and the tractor. Uh, so I appreciate you guys watching these uh, series of videos. It helps me uh, down the road for the other projects I do. Um, also, if you have any questions about any of these attachments, how I use them, why I bought them, where I bought them, um, some of them I bought online, some of them I bought from a local tractor supply store, some of them I bought from my Kubota dealer, um, I'd be more than happy to answer any and all of those questions. However, I suspect the follow-on series of videos about my tractor repair, uh, the tractor modifications I'm going, going to do and have done. Um, and, the, and the attachment modifications we're going to do and, and have done will probably answer a lot of the questions you might have about this tractor, uh, this brand of tractor, some of these implements and some of the brands uh, that I've bought. In. I'm not brand specific as you can see. I've, I've got Titan over here, which was a great deal. Uh, I've got Country Line. I've got uh, Prefert or Prefart. Pre I don't even know how you say that. Uh, and I've got the uh, Land Pride. Uh, which is the most expensive brand, I'll say, the far one over there, which is the Brush Hog. And uh, so, yeah, if you have any questions or comments about any of this, by all means, leave them down below. Be more than happy to uh, answer them. I'm not going to get into any kind of uh, brand specific uh, debate about Kubota versus John Deere or New Holland or anything like that. I bought a Kubota, I did the research, this worked the best for me. I'm not saying that any other brand out there is better or worse for someone else. However, this worked for me for, for price reasons and uh, the features I got for it. So, like I said, if you uh, have any questions, leave a comment down below. be more than happy to get back to you. Otherwise, uh, check out some of these other links, probably to a couple of modification videos for implements, maybe the tractor mod or walk around, and, and definitely hit that subscribe button. It helps me out in the next video. Thanks for watching.